Hi everybody, welcome back to Matt Sally TV. So in this video, we're going to be listening to some of the best singers anywhere in the world and hearing them sing without using auto-tune. So auto-tune's very popular these days. It can make average singers sound a little bit better. But I'm really interested to hear how some of the best singers sound naturally. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be awesome, but it'll be interesting to see. This is from eight different countries. We've got eight different singers. Uh, so let's watch these. We can see who is best. We can see what they're like. You can tell me what you think about each of them. Okay, first we've got BTS from Korea, the biggest boy band in the world at the moment. Loved by millions. They're obviously very talented to get to that height, but how do they sing without auto-tune? Let's hear. His vocals be clearer than his skin. <laughs> but his vocals are awesome. <laughs> Imagine looking like this. Okay, man. I think there's a few different clips so far, but their voices are clean, so smooth, silky smooth. I guess you don't get to be one of the best musical acts in the world without being talented, and they definitely are. Who calls him Wayne and Pitch? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm very interested to see why they dance, how they sing. Okay, so that was a great start. BTS clearly have huge talent. In different situations, they were just as good. So when they're sitting, not having to exert too much physical energy, they can sing beautifully. But even when they're dancing, which is probably the hardest time to sing, they still handled it perfectly. And you hear them singing some hip hop at the end too. The Roots, love that. And yeah, next we've got Siti Noor Haliza from Malaysia, from here in Malaysia, my second home. And she is hugely loved here in Malaysia. She's very talented. She's had so many hits for years and years. So let's hear Siti Noor Haliza from Malaysia. Okay, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. This is awesome. Did you hear her voice? She was talking, then she just went into this amazing sound. I don't think I've heard her sing live before, but you can hear that natural talent. Her voice is so, so good. Let's listen to some more. Siti no Haliza, wow, that was so, so, so good. Power, control, that's a live performance and she sounds better than 
99% of artists do on their normal songs. There's nothing added to her voice, no effects, no techniques. That's pure natural talent and someone Malaysia should be very proud of. Next we've got Arijit Singh from India. <laughs> So much spirit he has in his voice. Okay, just before we hear the high range, his low range, he has so much spirit, so much soul in his voice, so much authenticity. He's definitely one of the best singers in the world. And you just hear, it's just something that gives such a like, uplifting and happy feeling to the person listening. Let's hear his high range, I know it's good. Listen to that high pitch performance. I've seen that performance before. Uh, that's from the Gima Awards. He is amazing. You hear the difference from the low to the high. Show that he shows that versatility that he has. He's a master of all vocal range, and that high pitch performance was just gives you shivers. It's perfect. Okay, next we've got Julianne San Jose from Philippines. I know Philippines has like unlimited amazing singers, there's so much singing talent in that country but did you just hear that performance? Let's just run that back a little bit man, some, let's just hear from here. This is perfection. Whoa. Hello. Let's just hear that bit again, man. That's Makaya Mariah Carey esque. She is talented. I've heard her before. I think I made a reaction or a couple reactions to her videos before. But to hear her raw and uncut in the studio and singing like that. She's just sitting there. She's not standing to get that extra power. She's just sitting there and she can produce that sound. Wow. Great singer. Agnes Mo is nicked from Indonesia. Janji, Janji. Play. I don't wanna play no games, play no games. Okay, so I think she's like singing snippets of other songs. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. She seems cool. Oh, wow. You speak Indonesian language now? Janji, Janji, Yankavari, Janji, Janji, 
better. Every step seems just a little better. Your mistake. Oh. She can sing so many different genres so easily. I've been saying to myself, be stronger. We can work it out, it's gonna take a little bit longer. As long as I got you, you got Wow, Agnes Mo. I love how that showed her range in regard with regards to different types of music, different genres, some R and B, some pop. And she could handle them all so well. I think that's a sign of a very good uh, artist and her voice speaks for itself. Beautiful. Next is Billy Eilish, USA. You close your eyes, do you picture me? When you fantasize, I'm when you fantasy. Now you know, now I'm free. Okay, just before I say, Billy Eilish is like obviously huge, similar to BTS, just that worldwide appeal, has so many fans, such a strong and loyal following. I've not really heard much of her singing live or singing acoustic and things like that. Uh, so I'm really interested to see this and see how she sounds. Just run it back a bit. She sounds really good on this one. had to take that performance in that was amazing even just seeing that small part of that song makes me actually want to listen to more of her music and do a bit more uh, just become a bit of a fan of her she sounds great Man, I love that. That has opened up something new for me. I, I've never really, li really listened to her music a lot. I've heard songs here and there and seen clips. But that is quite amazing. Really happy with that. She really conveys so much emotion through her voice. You can see that she's an authentic artist. She's real. And yeah, man, her voice is really, really enjoyable to listen to. So I'm going to find out more, more about her and tell me what your favourite song from Billie Eilish is. Okay, next, Atif Aslan from Pakistan. One of my favourite singers. This man has soul. This man also has authenticity. He has talent. Let's watch. <laughs> Wow, I don't think I've seen that performance from him before, but you can hear he has a real spirituality to his voice. Uh, and you see the actual quality of his voice there, starting off with that low sound again and getting at those high notes at the end of it and he can handle it all so easily, has so much experience, so much talent, I love him. It's got such a calmness and peace to his voice. Oh 
well, so that's Atif Aslam, you, you can see that, it really makes you feel so at ease, so peaceful, uh, so relaxed, it's that real spirit in his voice, just makes you feel so, uh, so calm, uh, and yeah, I don't think there's anyone else with a voice like him, with that spirit. Uh, next we've got Hadith from Turkey. Even just that vocal to begin is just insane. Can't wait to see this performance. Her şey burada bitti. Toparlan gidiyorsun. Zamana bırakmadım tehlike arz ediyorsun. Suçüstü tövbeler kalbi darbeler. İlahi sevgilim sen kimi kandırıyorsun? Yalnız. Wait, she, she's got something all Turkish singers have, and that is that real authenticity. It's not this fake music. This manufactured pop music it's just real music her real voice and i love it man you hear this talent man showing it back a bit and the turkish language is so so cute <laughs> Wow, amazing way to finish from Hadisi. So much power, so much authority in her voice, but it really has that beautiful, sweet so say to it as well it's a very complex voice that she has and what she can do with it i love her i love the turkish language i love turkish music so that's eight awesome performances from eight amazing singers from around the world let me know what you think about all of them do you have a favorite do you have an order of how much you like each of them tell me what you think about them in the comments thanks